Come on over, let's, let's catch a bee. Among the lush green plants of the Hoyt Arboretum, these community scientists in training learn how to first spot. We're going to put them in jars. Then catch the cool a thing, bumblebee. You know, bumblebee. Not always the easiest thing to do. Ah, missed it. But give it a couple tries, and this it. is what That's you like get. Oh, no. <laughs> An up-close look at a tiny insect in big trouble. We have one species here in Oregon that may already be extinct. Conservation biologist Rich Hatfield is leading the lesson. And so without bees, we don't have food for humans, and we don't have food for a lot of wildlife either. His students today, camp counselors with Portland Parks and Rec. It's the first time first year counselor Fat Bon Pereira has ever been this close to a bumblebee. It's pretty good. I got to face a fear today. First, the volunteers capture the bees, which are then placed in a chilled cooler that makes them groggy. The community scientists then take photos of the bees and release them unharmed. <laughs> Their ultimate goal is to gather critical information that will be passed on to researchers like Hatfield. Through the help of community scientists like this, he hopes to gather enough information to come up with a plan. We can use that information to make recommendations for homeowners about which flowers to plant and how they can help attract some of these animals and improve their populations. And anyone who cares about nature, or in this case bees, can be a community scientist. We need everybody's help and I think it's a great way for us to educate ourselves. All you need is a few pieces of equipment, maybe a little courage, and of course, a love of bees. And if you're interested in becoming a community scientist, organizations are always looking for help. We've got links to some of their websites on KGW.com. In Southwest Portland, Keely Chalmers, KGW News.